box there yeah good pod did you guys like episode two amazing thanks <laughs> Just thank you. Mary, thank you. Angelia, thank you for the hearts. Lori, thank you for the hearts. Mary, thank you for the roses. Thank you guys for the gifts. Next podcast will be when we're back from Greece. When we're back from Greece. I was going to try to fit it in this week, but we won't have time. So when we're back from Greece. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Shannon, thank you. Lisa, thank you. Good seeing you today. Good seeing you. Will we get a follow-up on the podcast? Yeah. Of course. Working and watching? <laughs> That's okay. Kathy, thank you. Tracy, thank you. Four days until um, Greece. Going to Greece in four days. Apparently there's wildfires there, so hopefully everything's okay by the time we go. How does it feel to have first one under your belt? Feels good. Feels really good. And especially, it did really good, so it felt good. I got the zip up hoodie. Zip up. Mary, thank you guys. Wendy, thank you. Thank you for the gifts, guys. Toppers, thank you. I got the zip up sick. Are you not going to the track today? I don't think today. Maybe tomorrow if we can. Did you have fun doing that? Yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun. Um, chatting and, you know, the podcast was fun. Getting deep, talking more in depth. It was nice. Seaside Tracy, guys, thank you for the gifts. Thank you, thank you. Toppers, thank you. How does it feel to wear your own merch? Good, I love this. I only wear my own merch now. This is nice zip up hoodie, it's comfy. Just chilling outside, I got a nice view here. I feel like I'm in Jamaica. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Melody. I like your shoes, thanks. These are my outdoor shoes. Gonna miss that cozy spot. I know, but we'll be in Greece, so it'll be better. We'll have the ocean. Thank you guys, so proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glad you guys enjoyed it. Glad you guys enjoyed it. Mary, thank you, Karen, thank you. Working on my book while we chill this morning. Nice. I gotta work on mine pretty soon. Thought I'd hop on a quick live talk for a bit this morning. Mary, thank you. Sandra, thank you. April, thank you. How do Bill's open house good? Really good, really good. We're getting more offers than expected. Sandra, thank you. Diane, thank you. Sweet to see you. Thank you, Jenny. Yo, Stephanie, thank you for the 30 bucks on PayPal. Damn, podcast was incredible. So excited to see what's next. Thank you. I'm excited. When I come back from Greece, uh, I'll be studying like the next story and then doing my next pod. Driving and listening to you. Thank you. We're moving in Orangeville, though. So we're close. Moving in Orangeville. Same spot. Bill's just visiting Greece. It would help if you watch Pog. Oh yeah, for sure. 100%. That's what I do. You gotta watch and listen and see what you can do better next time. Get advice too. I was asking for advice all that. Mary, thank you for the roses, Christy. Thank you. 
Got my iced coffee on its way. Hello. What are you looking forward to in Greece? Uh, just going on a vacation, you know, traveling. It'll be fun. Not looking forward to the plane too much. I'm excited to get there though. Just cause it's a 12 hour plane ride and it's like, oh, have a great day, you 2 D. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great podcast, I loved it. Yeah, it was great. Did mom and dad watch the podcast yet? I asked them, but I don't think they did yet. They didn't have time yet, but they're going to. First class, no. No, I was sitting there like, I'm actually a couple rows back because I booked late. So I'm a couple rows back, which sucks. First time meeting Bill's family, yeah. First time meeting Bill's family. Good morning, Mandy. You have a whole family with you, so I'll help. Yeah, exactly, Shane. Exactly. I'll have a whole fan with me. Will you do other subjects for the podcast or just fan stories? Um, other subjects. Just start it off with fan stories, but as soon as we start, like, more stories will come in. Whatever stories we get, basically. As soon as we start getting other people, too, they can start telling other stories or even, like, creators. We can ask how their, how their time was being a creator and all that stuff. I was even thinking of that. Maybe. Maybe down the road. JJ, thank you. Stacy, thank you. Thanks, Lucia. Who is Bill? He's my uncle. Uncle Billy. JJ, thank you for the roses. Christy, thank you. We're here for you, William. So excited for you, my friend. Oh, thank you, Sonny. Thanks, dude. Thank you. The next podcast is going to be lit. I'm just going to get better and better, too, so next podcast will be even sick just trying to add things to the to the resume and just keep building keep building keep growing melanie thank you for the bread rose thank you rita thank you starting with fans is amazing yeah there's a bunch of like amazing stories that i got sent from fans so it's good to tackle those especially Sonia, thank you, my sweetie. Thank you for the roses. Toppers, thank you. What's up, what's up? You're crushing it. Thanks. Back for a minute. It's good, it's good, Grotto. It's good. April, thank you. Sandra, thank you. I'm gonna go get a charger real quick. I'll be right back, guys, go. I'll be right back. Take me two seconds. Get a Yeah, thank you.
The water is so peaceful, right? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Plans today, might go on kick later with Adam. Um, might go on kick. I gotta ask him too what's going on with the racetrack when he wants to do that. I'm gonna do the my audio book today. Do a workout, then just kick, have fun, do some gaming. We leave this week. Kelly leaves. I mean, Alex. I mean, Adam leaves um this week for good or well, not this week but we leave them by the time we get back he's gone so we gotta you know spend some time with adam got enough cigs yeah got enough cigs auntie's here too she got cigs Joe, thank you Adam's moving to uh, Ottawa. Diane Jen, thank you. Thank you for answering so many questions about the podcast. We're just excited for you. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Jen, thank you. What does the water feature look like? Water feature? This? Good morning. Can I borrow your son? <laughs> Wanna borrow my son? It's the most challenging part of making the podcast. Um, probably just having like good conversations. Like it's it can be you gotta like stay stay in the moment. You can't be you gotta keep it interesting, all that you gotta keep you gotta keep moving. Um so just being like in the moment all the time, not getting tired, like just having, making sure it's good. You know, I'd say that. Because for me, all I have to do is the podcast. I got team editing it for me and all that. So all I need to do is just go on podcast. Did you get emotional during the story? Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, thank you for the roses. You're amazing, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. It's thunder and raining in my area. Oh. It's nice here. It's nice here. What time is it? It's almost 10 a.m. It's 9.50. It's getting hot now though. It's nice and chilly this morning, but I'm hot. Got some water. I had Bracky had a bagel this morning. Nice bag. Still sing, yeah. I do. I sing and dance and stuff. Pato, thank you for the PayPal. Thank you. Great pod, thank you. I adore your singing voice. Thanks. Sleepy? No, I'm fine. It's a little sunny though. Pretty sunny. Rhonda, thank you for the roses. Love seeing you in the morning. Thanks. Ballbuster Bill's at work, yeah. He's at work, like always. Mary Jane, thank you for the roses. Christine, thank you for the heart. 
Good sleep? Yeah, I had a good sleep. How about you guys? How was your sleep? I had a good sleep last night. I had a nice sleep last night. When will the next podcast be next month? Yeah. Say like in three weeks. Next month. Rebecca, thank you for the roses. Outward comes to you. What day today in your country? Today it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Are the fires in Athens area affecting Bill's family or your trip? I'm not too sure. I asked him yesterday, he said it's fine. Cal Cal, thank you. So we'll see, we'll have to see if it gets worse or better. What's the color of your eyes? They're like green and blue. Maybe like yellow. Yellow. Tracy, thank you too, thank you. What kind of shoes do chickens wear? None. Yeah? Emerald, yeah. Michelle, thank you for a PayPal. Buy another sub on me, toasted. Michelle, you don't have to. Another toaster, Sheb. Well, I'm on kick. No, thanks, Michelle. What did you think of the Olympic break dancing? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Have you seen Deadpool? No. I haven't seen Deadpool, no. I want to though. You have to search it up. All right. Tattoo Red, what's up, how you doing? Sandra, thank you. Okay, we gotta look it up after. On kick, I'll look it up. You know what, you're so friendly, thanks. God bless. Nikki, thank you, Sonja, thank you. Loved you. Can we talk about the podcast? Great history. Yeah, whatever you guys want to talk about, ask. Podcast was good, thank you. How's the autobiography going? Good, good. A little behind, but it's good. Were you nervous? Yeah, super nervous for the pod, yeah. Did you a suitcase? Yeah. How old are you? 24 and a half. Maybe 25 in like six months. You can't sit still, you Jones. And oh, fuck, yeah. Mary, thank you. Bonjour from France. Bonjour, bonjour. You get better each day, yeah, hundred percent. What part of the podcast did you find shocking? Um, the whole podcast was pretty shocking, but I don't know. Like them getting shot, like the shooting was just really insane. Diane, thank you. Willpower. That's it. I love your videos. I'm a fan. Thank you so much. You're alone right now. Got my aunt here, my cousin's sleeping upstairs. I'm just outside chilling with the the birds and the bees. <laughs> Did 
did it did you feel like you related to her story oh yeah many ways um just like hardship and like trying to like push through things and all that yo toppers thank you how many views did the podcast get uh first podcast got four thousand. Second podcast has like a thousand something right now second part How many watched hours are you at now? Um, I'm not sure. Not too sure yet. Bill says good morning in the Discord. Yeah, he's a beauty. Kim, thank you. How does it feel to know you helped a lady? great dude like i felt so proud of myself dude like really proud you're still doing therapy yeah will you do a follow-up on that story not on that story probably maybe yeah 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 100 yeah. percent after the court and everything yeah that's the plan that's the plan you've helped so many of us thank you just being myself hey auntie hey, bud. just on live Oh, are you? Okay, yeah. hi. He says, Auntie says hi. <laughs> are, you, are you leaving? Yeah. You look I'm good. My, my appointment. You smell I'm good? Mm -hmm. nice. And then after groceries, come home and cook. Okay, finally. Okay. She's cooking for I'm once, leaving. guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave those for you, okay, bud? Okay, love you. Okay, I love you too, honey. I'll be here. Yeah. When are you coming back? Like um, noon? My appointment's like an hour and a half, and then groceries? Like noon. Probably, like, 1.30? Okay. Yeah. Okay, bye, honey. Bye, auntie. She's a beautiful person. Oh, yeah. She's the best. She's going to smack you. <laughs> yeah. She's already... No, I'm kidding. She's... Did auntie make her good coffee this morning? Oh, yeah. I just ordered a coffee, though, just now, because she's on her way out. So I just ordered my iced coffee. I'm going to go grab it right now. Tracy, thank you. I love her laugh. Oh yeah, she sounds so much like my mom, right? My mom and auntie are a lot of like, both crazy, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I have to go to work, have a good day, thank you. Auntie's pretty cool, oh yeah, auntie's sick. What's up, Michael? How you doing? How you doing, G? Have you given any thoughts to the next subject to the podcast? Oh, the next subject's crazier. This one's going to make you ball your eyes out. I'm sorry to say it, but this one's like just absolutely messed up. The next podcast. That's why I wish we could do it like this week. But Bill said there's no time. But I want to do it this week. Yo, toppers, thank you. No, the next podcast is worse, bro. Like, obviously, it's hard to say worse. Like, they're all bad. But this one's just kind of like, like nuts, man. It's like, it's just like crazy. It's a fan story too, yeah. Um, and then there's another one after that that's really crazy. Um, we just gotta be careful with the words that we're saying on YouTube because I know like TikTok, you have to say like some code words for like, like, like just say grape, you have to say grape. I don't know if you have to say that on YouTube too. So we do have to make sure with some of the stories cause they're pretty graphic. There's some graphic stories, you know what I mean? Um, but Diane, thank you. But yeah, good stories. And then after that, um, maybe do a little bit, take a little break on the heavy stories and do a little bit of, like maybe a couple creators might do like Alex, uh, Dawson, um, all like the creators, Lackey, everyone that's been kind of going like doing what they do like kind of i want to hear their life story too of how 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 they feel on social media and stuff thanks mary thank you i was reading the bible this morning for the first time 
reading the Bible for the first time this morning. Genesis 1, Genesis chapter 1, I finished. Dan, thank you. Do you know where you're going? It was like an easy read. It wasn't like the Old Testament. It was like an easier read. Um, eventually, I do want to read like, but it's like an easier read, I think. I just searched up on Safari. Just getting the... Bible's hard to understand. It is. It's hard to understand. It's hard to fully believe. It's hard to soak it in, but it's kind of like a must. Like every time I'm like, every time I'm sinning, God smacks me right in the face. Boom. Boom. So like there's a way of living. Yo, I got something cool to tell you guys too. I was watching, um, this uh, biologist, and he was uh, talking about, um, he was talking to this Christian guy about, um, about like Christ. And bro, this biologist found a protein cell that makes us grow, that makes us grow. And it's shaped like the cross. I swear. That's what it is. You got you gotta see that. It's so slow. Like the protein that makes us grow is literally like the di the diagram is shaped like this. Like if the diagram is like this, and then the actual cell looks like Jesus on the cross. Like his head's tilted, the arms are like that. That's the actual cell. But that's the actual protein that like puts us, keeps us together, like makes us grow or something, like something that's very important. I'm like, that makes so much sense why people do that, like body of Christ. <laughs> and Christ found that when we didn't have the internet, like he found, he found that out through God because it was only him and God, you know? There was no internet or nothing. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna repost it. Yeah, I'll repost it. It's really, really cool and it's like, it's really freaking cool. I'll repost it. Where are you in Canada, Alberta or BC? In Canada, I'm in Ontario. I'm from Ontario. The Great White North. I'm new here. I just followed you. A lot of people don't even get follows for long, long time, so. <laughs> are there something that you want to try in Greece? Yes, I would like to try to get married. Um, if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna try to get rich. And if that doesn't work out, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the next step is gonna be. We haven't got that far. <clears throat> Missy, thank you. I know you guys like the shirt off, but this isn't for you guys. It's not for you guys. Okay. Maybe a little bit. I'm hot. I'm hot right now. It's hot. Good morning. Sure. 
Bro, Matt Rave's hilarious, bro. I was watching this morning. Holy fuck. Rebecca, thank you. Diane, thank you. Where'd you cut your hair? Um, at um, this place down the road. Bro, I was watching like his, his TikToks. Every single comedy TikTok that someone posts of him, he gets like millions of likes. And every single one is so funny. And he's also so attractive at the same time. Like he's so good looking. It's like annoys me, his big lips. Just like making me so like happy. It's like get your lips out of my face, Matt. Frick. Yo, toppers, thank you. I, one day I gotta go to a concert, guys, front row. He needs to call me out. I gotta act like a nobody and then just be like, he's like, who's this guy in the front row with his hair looking like a rat's nest? Just freaking calls me out. I'd make like a big, like, I would try to outsmart the genius. I would try to out, out, I would try to calm a clothes smart the the him, cause he would be like, I would try to make something funny out of it, bro. I don't know what I do though. Something funny. Yeah, I'd have to do something funny. He's so quick though. Yeah, he's so quick. I'd be like, oh man, he's too quick. He's already he's already putting me in a choke load. I'm trying to. I'm trying to c come up with my comeback. I already, he already has me in a choke load, choke hold. <sighs> Lucy, thank you. Lori, thank you. You're witty too. Yeah, I'm witty. I don't know, cause Matt doesn't take anything too serious. So like, I was gonna say, like, I'd be like, I would start talking random to be, like confuse him, but I think you just be like, I think you just move on to the next person. Hey, thank you. Mary, thank you. Watches new Netflix special. Yeah, I'm going to. I gotta watch that. I just watched like TikToks from him and they're all like funny. When's the next Lucid Soap coming out? I actually gotta talk to Dawson ASAP. Um, we gotta think of that. He won't be outshined at his own show, exactly. He won't. I have an idea. Maybe I tackle him. I run up, he won't even know. He'll think I'm telling a joke. I body tackle him. Pick him up, throw him on the ground. Put him in a headlock, put him to sleep, and then boom. What do you think, ladies? <laughs> Christmas soap. Dude, Christmas soap would be sick, actually, guys. We'll do, like, sit on Santa's lap, minty, minty spray or something. Like a minty, like, there's, like, a little bunch of, like, little freaking sparkles. And it's, like, mint, like, mint, pep peppermint. Yeah, that's good. And thank you. sparkly like Christmas wrapped like a present wrapped and then it's like peppermint it's a will of claws Christmas thanks Nicole candy cane that's good Valentine heart soap oh that'd be cute a little jujube in the middle heart jujube but you can't eat it just squishy it's like soap the key to my heart you gotta soap to the key you gotta soap to get down to the heart pata thank you
some fall pumpkin. Mm. Halloween soap. That'd be a good idea. An orange soap. A pumpkin soap. What would Halloween smell like? Oh, pumpkin. Yeah, true. Ooh, pumpkin. Yeah. Pumpkin soap. Pumpkin pie. I think pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie spice. Candy corn. Ooh, candy corn. That'd be kind of cool. Hey, Rita. Thank you for the PayPal saying you are a star. Love ya. Thanks, Rita. Cinnamon. Mmm. Apple bone soap. Ooh. Like a bone in the middle. Pretend bone or something. And then, like, it smells like it's all green. But it's see-through green, and it's apple smell. Or like, it could be red too, and it could be like, app, like it could smell like apple. Hot apple. Apple bone soap. Apple bone soap. We're keeping it natural out here with the apple bone soap. Take the apples, take God's creation, and put it right to your bones. Soak it in. Apple bone soap. Limited edition. Coming up. Soof soap. <coughs> Soof. <coughs> Ow, fuck. I got bit by a bee again. You cocksucker. Oh my god. This is the third time in freaking three days I got bit by a bee. Is there a nest? Like, is Bill killing me? Because I will kill Bill. Like the song. Ow! Ow! This is the third time. <laughs> Big ass thing. Oh, this thing is like a fucking bitch. Oh. Oh. That was bigger than this baby bee so. What should I put on it? Baking soda, ice. Put some ice on it. Ice. Yeah, it's starting to swell. Oh, it gets you high too. Like right now, I'm buzzing off beehive. Oh, but there's definitely a bee's nest or something. I don't know. Oh. I just got shot. Come on, roger that. I'm in the back. I'm in the back pit. Fuck. Oh. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's okay, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Don't worry. I'll be okay. Whew. Stinger hurts, yeah. Stinger hurts. Can you see the stinger? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Put mud on it? How do you get the stinger out? I don't have clips. Wet tobacco? Tweezers. Okay. I'll go get Adam. I'll go get Adam. Adam. Just so you know, last time I didn't use anything. 
anything. I didn't use anything last time. Just so you know. Just so you know. Adam. Adam, I need your help, bro. I got a stinger stuck in me. I need you to pull it out with tweezers. Yeah, I think I'm dying, eh? One second at a time. <gasps> oh, Adam. Do we have Benadryl, Adam? Uh, no. no Benny. Yeah. No. If anything, it's between the bathroom above the, the scale. Bees are so annoying, bro. I swear, three times this week. Three times I got stung. I never got stung in my life. Three times this week. I think Bill's sending freaking bee hit. Like, I think he's sending bee hits on me. Yeah, dude. Great. Looks nasty, bro. Don't be saying it looks nasty, guys. I'm gonna pass out. Don't be saying it looks nasty. Your buddy, this guy couldn't even get a prick for, on his hockey team for blood. All I gotta think is Bill was in the war. That's all I gotta think. Just a B. Just a B. Bill was in the war. It's just to be. It kills. <sighs> My biggest pet peeve ever is when you clean your ears and there's no earwax. God, are you cleaning my ears out for me? Like it's not fun to clean my own ears? To see all that wax at the end of the stick? You don't think that's soothing? a winter's day, hot as the summer's breeze, young money thieves, still in love with me, I like the way she walking, if she walking my way, it's Adam's Red Bull, he's gonna fly away, when's the racetrack Adam, everyone's wondering, why you ditched us this weekend, we missed you, we missed you all weekend, we want to race cars, so freaking bad, Dude, Adam got a sick haircut, by the way, guys. Like, he looks studly. No. Oh, fuck. Just get ready, eh, bud? Just get ready. Just get ready. Yes. 
Yes! And she knows she bad. I'm attracted to her, but her attractive thing. And now we murder girls because we kill time. I knock our lights out. She still shine. I like to see her walk, but I like to watch her leave. Oh. I'm scared of bees now. Public enemy number two. I got stung on this chair. I got stung over there. So they're just following me. It's like they like it. That's why I'm on a mission now. You know what? God, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my enemies. But these bees, it's gonna have to, things are gonna have to change now. It's war now with these bees. They came in my house, coming at me out of nowhere, right? Like, what am I going to do, sit back and relax and not think that they're out to get me? Now it's time to lock in. It's time to lock in. You guys are going to see me with three BB kills today. I don't care. You th they think they can sting us? Sting us. Sting us. Wow. Salt shooter. Imagine. Imagine I was like bullseye and I can literally just take any little pin and just and then it can just fly and stick right in them. Bullseye. Have you seen bullseye? He's a good villain. Cam, thank you. Can't blame the bee for little things. Daredevil's good. You gotta watch Daredevil. I gotta brush my teeth. I haven't brushed my teeth today. Got coffee teeth. DJ Dub, thank you. Mary, thank you. I have a hive in my backyard under the playhouse storage. Can't get anyone to move it. Sharon, thank you for the 125 bucks watching in my car. Yo, Sharon, thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you guys being here. It's not about sending me money. It's about you just being here. I just want you to know that. Because Sharon is, is a big gifter. I just want her to know that too. You know, Sharon, you can you just you're unreal, unreal, unreal gift day. Thank you. Diane, thank you. <clears throat> so kick today, guys. I'm going to work on my book today as well. Well run, and then I'll do kick. Kick in my book. 
That's all I'm dedicating my day today. I can't wait to go on kick though. I've been really missing kick, even on our own account. I just, all of it. I miss kick, bro. And as soon as this week is done, we're, there's no kick. Like we're literally going to Greece. I'm not streaming kick in Greece. I'll be on TikTok, but not kick. And then we're there for two weeks, busy, busy, busy. And then when we get back, we got podcasts, all that stuff, but gaming, we can do gaming mix. We can do all of that, but I want to game for sure. Um, yeah, I want to get better at gaming a little bit. I like gaming. It's like a new world, right? Throw myself in there for a bit. Then we could do like a fun mix, whatever we want to do. We'll do it all. We'll do it all. Nicole, thank you. We'll just have fun today. Chill. Um, do all that. I'll just clean my room, make sure it's good. Do you use Twitch? No, I use Kick. Kick. How's Black Betty? Black Betty's good. Black Betty's good. Black Betty's good. Yeah, she's good. She's good. The bees are trying to pollinate the world with you. Just go with it. Okay, beauty. Thank you, bees. Thank you. I guess God's toughest soldiers got to take the toughest battles, right? So I got to get stung by a bee, apparently, to pollinate. So they can pollinate. <laughs> Amy, thank you. Has PJ seen Black Beauty? No, I haven't. I want... I, mean, I can't wait for PJ to, PJ to see it. I've been wanting to drive to him. Like, I've been wanting to. Like, the last, like, this week, I was like, should I go drive to him? And then I was like, it's such a far drive, though. I got stuff to do. So it's just been like that like a lot but see what i'm gonna go maybe even before greece i'll rip down and see it maybe you never know we'll see we'll see we'll see how busy i'm getting or how i'm feeling you know or meet halfway yeah i'll get a time when uh um it's I'll, I'll do it when I'm ready and it's a good time to like when we have a day to like chill you know show them the car I go for lunch whatever there's no rush really no rush no rush at all and thank you for the roses and thank you toppers thank you what airport are you flying from uh Toronto How's the new suitcase? Good. It's a nice suitcase. It's pretty nice. Like, it's not as good as the one my mom took from me. That's my favorite, but yeah, it's good. Who will be babysitting Black Betty? Um, Adam. Adam. Because he doesn't leave this week. Adam leaves, like, next week or two weeks from now. I'm not too sure. But he doesn't leave this week. But by the time I get back from Greece, he'll be gone. He'll be gone. Hello, what's good? I've flown to Charlotte, Virginia. Was stuck in Charlotte for eight hours. Oh, that sucks. Plans to go to Europe? Yeah, eventually. Um, like, I want to travel Europe, too. Um, we have a meet and greet um, either, like, November or October. We're going to have, we're going to set up a meet and greet here, though. And then I told Bill I want to do some meet and greets in the States as well, because we have a lot of fans in the States. And then I want to do meet and greet. And then then just travel Europe, meet people and stuff too in Europe. We got people in Europe too. But while we're doing all this stuff, I want to have like little meets too. I also want to do something where we can do like autographs. Like just like it's not even like, like we can do like a big meet and greet. I'm thinking like a big meet and greet where like people pay like small like a ticket like whatever 50 bucks 20 bucks whatever it is i don't know um and then also have like some things where it's just like we meet at this place and i'll just sign and talk to people and everyone can just kind of meet in this field we'll sign stuff talk to people have a couple whatever something like that just that's like will be like a free thing you know like stuff like that just give backs and you know, but then also the other mean greet with the pay one will be more like a party, like catering, like it'll be more like a party, like a fun party type shit. 
and thank you. Yeah, I have security, like limo, like just make it like sick, like an event, an event. Let's go see Matt Rife. Oh, I forgot who that was. An event, whatever. And special kid, thank you. Welcome in Belgium for some chocolates, nice. Yeah, red carpet, dance party. Um, we can do lives there, have other creators sometimes and stuff. Like maybe not the first one, but once we get going, maybe bring some other creators and stuff. Build events. We'd have a better event than the TikTok event. The TikTok event was fucking brutal. Bonjour, bonjour. Yeah, I think your body is perfect to mine. Oh, thank you. Such exciting times. Toppers, thank you, toppers. Need DJ Eric Rhodes collaboration. Oh, that'd be sick. Exactly, there's some DJs on the app too that we can hire. TikTok DJs, actually. I have a DJ that I know, my buddy. I got a rapper too. Mary, thank you. Yes, come to New Jersey. Yeah. I haven't seen you in a minute. Where have you been, dog? I've always been here since the beginning. I never leave. I'm always here. Angelia, Mary, thank you. Gotta go see you on kick. All right, all right. See you on kick. You don't look happy. I'm really happy. It's okay. It's okay, little little boy. <laughs> little girl, little boy. Missy, thank you. My sweetie, thank you. Status on crazy. I don't know what you said. You look great, thank you. CJ, thank you. Good morning, Nora. Good morning, good morning. I love seeing you happy and smiling. Thank you, guys. Thank you. My sweetie, Jelly Bean, thank you. Hey, William, how are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? Missy, thank you, Jelly Bean, thank you. You look just fine, Will. Thank you, thank you. Liz, thank you. Missy, thank you. Dia Boo, thank you. How's this thing? It's finally gone. Finally gone. Tracy, thank you. I'll be on my first plane ride to come to the meet and greet. No way, first ever. That's sick. Love seeing you become successful. Oh, thanks, Vivian. How long do you stay in Europe? I stay in Greece for two weeks. Two weeks. Loved your podcast. Thank you, Liz. Don't be shy to drop a comment how you feel about it as well. It's good for you to share, share how you feel as well. Diabu, thank you. Hi, Mia Moore. Hello, hello. Can't wait for you to come to Georgia. Oh yeah, Georgia is sick. Isn't that where the green jacket is and stuff too? My husband liked the podcast too. Good, good. Tell him I say thank you. Tell him I say thank you. Diane, thank you for the roses. You from Canada. I'm from Canada. I had so many questions so far. I saw a lot of nice questions, a lot of big questions. I appreciate that. Questions, answers, um, all that. There was a bunch of good, good comments, good comments, good heart-filled comments. I loved your podcast. Where do you comment on the podcast? Right below the YouTube video. If you scroll down, you should be able to comment, but you do need a YouTube account. Um, if you don't have a YouTube account, you can't comment. That's the problem. That's that's what I couldn't comment on a lot of videos before because of that. Because I didn't have a YouTube account. 
really good feedback. Yeah, really good feedback. Really good feedback. Hubby and I watched it together. Beauty William, thank you so much. But it's free to make an account. Yeah, it's free. It's just, I don't know. I think YouTube can be a little tougher to make an account with like, it makes you like do a little more, I think. I'm not sure though, but, but yeah, it's free. It's not, not hard if you want to just make a free account. Congrats on a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's easy. Okay, good. What things do you feel just for future podcasts? Um, well, when I asked for advice and stuff after the podcast to a couple people, they just said basically just be you, but more like show more of your personality by asking questions, kind of be more into it. Like, and that's just obvious. Like I was kind of easing into it for my first podcast, but still doing the best I can do, but it's just going to get better from learning. That's just how life works. You know, just keep getting better. <laughs> will you do a part three yeah probably like seeing what yeah probably it probably won't be for a while the part three um but there's because there's a bunch of things going on with the court and all that so we're gonna be doing other ones in between that um but we'll see probably Have you met few goals yet? Not too sure. Not too, too sure. Um, everyone else is focused on the small stuff. I'm focused on big stuff, so I don't really care about that stuff. I focus on like my future in 10 years, not one day. So I don't look at like small success like that. I'm proud of myself. I'm good, I'm moving forward, but I don't look at it like that. Um, just looking more for long-term, how I'm feeling. It's not really like, oh, I need, no, <laughs> not anymore. Tracy, thank you for the 50 bucks. Can you buy a pair of Speedos for Greece? <laughs> you asked, I didn't say yes or no yet. We'll see. We'll see. Liz, thank you. Speedo. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Maybe. Put it right up the butt. Just hear the, like the strap just just turn my head really quick at the camera, like Zoolander. Freaking perfect little dive. Doesn't make one splash. Just just plop. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hello, been day one. Proud of you, thank you so much. Thank you. Cheryl, thank you for the roses. Did you download Discord on your phone? Would be a great idea. When we're in Greece, guys, we gotta be going live in public. Like, I need to gain confidence to bring you guys for dinner, have dinners, talk to people, get people involved. Like, I want Greece to be a very good, like, document. Like, I want it to be good, too. You know? Um, so I'm going to try that, bro. I'm going to try to just really get good with the phone in public and also communicate at the same time. Because that's what's going to make content so much more interesting for YouTube and everything, too. Just real life, like, going out and doing it. So it'll be sick. CJ, thank you. Plans for the day. Um, I'm going to go on kick at 12 o'clock noon. And I'm going to go on for like two hours. I'm going to do a workout. And then I'm going to start my audio book. I'm going to do my audio book for like a bit until dinner. Then have like a nice good dinner. Because then I'll be like tired and I just want to relax after like grinding on my audio. 
and then I'll have a nice dinner. Um, and then yeah, after that, I don't know. What am I doing after that? Maybe audiobook again. Chill. Talk to Bill. Probably talk to Bill and stuff. <sighs> All that stuff. Taco Tuesday. Oh my gosh. I need tacos for lunch today. Because I don't know if we're going to do it for... But dinner tacos are way better. Dinner talks. Dinner taco. Like a taco dinner. Those are the best. Best. Do your laundry? I could do my laundry, yes. Could do my laundry today. Show us the scenery in Greece, please. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I will, I will for sure, for sure. I'll be getting amazing pictures for you guys. The water, everything, it's gonna be unreal. It's gonna be unreal. And the baptism's gonna change my life, bro. It's gonna be amazing, bro. Unreal stuff happening, unreal. User, thank you. Tattoo Red, thank you. Hey, any dreams last night? Oh my gosh, some wicked dreams last night. I don't remember it all though. I don't remember it all. But I had some wicked dreams. It was all over the place. It was one of those mystery dreams. Have you guys ever seen like robots? Like the blue and the red robot? It's like robots or something? It's kind of like, you know how this, that, that movie is just so, like, crazy? It's kind of like that. That was, like, my dream. It was just, like, an adventure. Like, I would go in, like, this tunnel, and then I'd go to this place, and, like, something would happen here. Then I'm in this place, and something happened here. I was just kind of, like, all over the place, bro. It was nuts. Yeah. I don't remember. I wish I did, though. Did you hear anything about the Europe or England agency? Um... Yeah, like, we're talking to them. Um, they're waiting for us to go to Greece, and then we're going to talk to some agencies in Greece. Um, I'm not really, like, worried about it, like, at all. I'm just letting it happen because I know my worth, and I can actually do it all. <laughs> I can do it all. So I'm not worried about, like, going under an agency or anything. But it's gonna work for me because they're gonna give me jobs. But I'm taking my time. I don't really care. You know what I mean? Like at all. I like my life. I think I have like a really good life. So not too worried. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just take my time, let it go, and let them beg. Honestly, I'm not begging for an agent. I don't know why anyone would do that. Thank you, Angie. You know, you don't bag for agents, bro. Are you kidding me, dude? Bagins, agents bag for you. Especially with social media. Because agents know that soon, no one's going to need agents anymore. It's all going to be Instagram getting paid, TikTok paying them. No one's going to do it. It's all going to be family. It's all going to be family doing it together. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> right so it's not that I'm not worried about anything I was though when I had the big IMG in my face I was worried about everything but then I got that out and I, well they kicked me out or whatever but then I started realizing like dude nothing actually matters like big agencies and stuff yeah it's all good gets you in the right thing but like perfect but i'm just saying doesn't matter as much as you like the most famous people the best people don't let other people dictate their life bro the biggest most rich people they do everything by themselves like they figure everything out by themselves yes they have teams and stuff but they don't fucking you know they do it by themselves because you can't value another man more than you. You can't value another person more than God. Like, are you kidding me? Whatever that guy did is just doing it because of whatever he had to go through. You can do it too. It's not hard. Just do it. Seriously. Hey. 
and then you're with agencies and then the whole like social media thinks you're fake and then eventually everyone ends up hating taylor swift and everyone because they think they're fake because they're like but the realistically they're just listening to their agents not talking it's like bro all this stuff is so insane bro insane bro Be your own agency, exactly, dude. I'll start a model agency if I wanted to. I'll fucking, I can start a model agency right now. Start a model agency right now. Find real models. Will's girl, thank you. Exactly. Tappers, thank you. But it's not about like views and stuff is what I'm saying. Like it's not because, it's not about like your views on social media. It's like what, why I can do everything or it's like not about my followers. It's about who you are. It's about your knowledge. Like when you know you can do something, you can do it. Like it's actually like, like it doesn't matter where you are, you can do it. Like, you know what I mean? So it's just like, all this other stuff is nonsense, guys. Do you have a girlfriend? Hell no. Thank God. Thank God. I do not need a girlfriend. I need myself, and that's it. And a girlfriend needs me, honestly. A girlfriend needs me. One sec. No, it's just, of course I want one though, but not yet. Cause right now it's like, I realized I was like wanting a girlfriend, but I was wanting, like, we didn't really know each other. We were just loving each other cause of like looks and like the fun and like trying to be whatever it was. It was just like having a girlfriend right now, I'm not ready for it. Like a lot of people are though. There's a lot of people that are way ahead of me in that world. And like, they're like getting married and whatever. For me, bro, like, I have to find myself more, like, I gotta stop being, like, jealous, I gotta be, like, proud of myself more, all these things, and then let the right person come around, but I, I'm telling you now, I won't waste another day of my life, that's just facts, and I think you guys know that, like, I won't, like, I wasted, like, years with people and stuff, and, like, so much time, bro, but I won't waste another day, I think everyone knows that, Tappers, thank you! Yeah, bro. Yeah, at least I'm being honest, exactly. Well, no one's perfect, right? Like, through the relationships, I saw their insecurities as well. They were like, am I gonna be with this good looking guy forever? Does he like me? Does he not like me? And then them having that insecurity is putting so much pressure on me, so much manipulation, abuse, all that like head stuff on me, which makes the relationship bad we start just fighting we start thinking like whatever all that stuff so it's just it's a two-way street when girls and stuff get jealous all the time i had a girl message me last night are you really that wholesome now lol lol like come on kind of chirping about it it's not a big deal but i was like am i really that wholesome i think i've always been pretty wholesome i think i've been like kind of sexual and made sexual jokes but like in reality i've always talked about like respect god um self-care all this stuff so it's crazy to be talked to like that um especially from fans you know crazy but i put her in her but i put her in her place pretty pretty nicely just by asking what she means there was no there was no meaning towards that it wasn't a real question it was just all out of hate for her own insecurities let's say but that's fine this is what it is but it's like damn damn son you're really gonna take out a mood on me
yeah it was it was just kind of like i see now but the thing that's crazy about it is that a 24 year old is kind of bound to grow up when you guys were 24 were you the exact same person you are today no you know my aunt was not either <laughs> nobody was <laughs> right like come on man seriously so to be like throwing that on a 24 year old stunting his growth is disgusting type shit it goes that deep it goes that deep because i am that deep so it just goes that deep and that's why the world can be all crazy because it is that deep it's always that deep i'm way better version myself did you get your suitcase yes i got my suitcase Barbie, thank you. You know what the best way to get back at someone is? Just realizing who they are and who I am and laughing. Real shit. Realizing who they are and who I am and just laughing in my head. On God. Now I understand why people flex and rap and do all this shit. Just laugh. Because realistically, they love you and want to be you. And me going down to their level like a nice guy, and they just bullied their way through. All right, thanks. I'll just stay up here and laugh at you and let you beg then if you want that. On oh, God. It's fucking insane. 200K tops. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Never go down to their level. Never. Never. You can't go down to their level. You can't go down to their level. I can go down to their level and still be a level ahead, though. That's the difference. That's the difference. Special K, thank you, Peta. They can't even climb the ladder. Yo, toppers, thank you. Special K, thank you, Petta, thank you. Best revenge to live life happy. I'm living life happy. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I worked hard for what I got, and I work hard every day, and I have God in my heart. I'm pretty freaking happy. I'm the happiest of happy. Happy birthday, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Petta, thank you. can't always be happy i'm always happy you know why i'm always happy because even when i'm mad i'm still happy even when i'm mad i'm still positive i'm never bad and hateful i'm always happy and i'm always positive toppers thank you toppers like you can't get the happiness out of me it runs in my blood and my veins I'm just a happy goat. I'm a happy guy. That's just straight up. Tappers, thank you. Let's go. Michelle, thank you. You're glowing well. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Missy, thank you. Happiness is contagious. Exactly. Life's amazing, guys. Life's amazing. And there's so many people that are 10 times more happier than me. 10 times more happier than you. 10 times. You don't be jealous of those people. You know what you do with those people? You learn from those people. You learn from people that are happier, loving life, and then you become that too. 
once you learn from people, right? Bye. Thank you, Toppers. Thanks, Will's Girl Forever. Thank you, thank you. Eleven, eleven. Not yet. I have to go. Sorry, school calls. Don't be sorry. CJ, thank you. Jenny, thank you. You make us happy when you're happy. Good, good. I'm happy. How's the arm? It's good. I have learned so much from you. Your happiness rubs off of me. Thank you, Debbie. You look healthy. I'm healthy. I'm always healthy. Grotto Girls, Kathy, thank you. Jenny, thank you. Love seeing you happy, thank you. You make me smile. I love when you interact, thank you. Misery loves company, stay happy. Yeah, I don't love misery. <laughs> Never love misery. Being grateful for small things makes problems seem small. Oh yeah, of course. Well, just like be grateful that you're, there's a chance you're not gonna wake up tomorrow. Like if you actually go to bed and say to yourself, there's a chance, to, this might be my last day. Then it's like, when you wake up, you're gonna be like, damn, let's do everything, like who cares? Allison, thank you, Denise. But most people are so engraved in like the world that they're so scared of like, like all this like worldly anxieties. Anxieties are real. And if the anxieties are real, then you gotta do something about it and stop crying about it like a little baby. And if you cry about it, you better be doing something while you're crying, like praying. Mary, thank you. And no one has a perfect life either, guys, eh? So don't think like, oh, but I wanted to make my life perfect, so I can't do it. Like, okay, like, enough. You gotta like, just work, like do what you need to do to have the best day, to feel good, to have the best day for you. Best day for you, that's it. So that means laughing, laughing at TikToks, finding funny things, growing. And you don't have to be uh, like all laughy and like jumpy and like goey to be like to not to to be to not be rude. Like you can never talk and just walk around with your head up, like think you look at people rude or something, but you're not being rude. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you can just chill. Like you can actually chill. You don't have to like fake things. Like just to be a person, you know? Because then it's like holy crap! I'm trying so hard to be this. Like you know? really good even if it's hard though like, even if it's like oh it's so but like hard's good like relax bro you can take it some people need to feel love before they can feel comfort or until they take that next step most people need to feel love like a guy like me to tell them like from a point of a different point of view you know? Is it just like a present in every second, no right and wrong? A present in every second, no right and wrong. I'm not sure what you mean. There's always right and wrong. Every decision you're doing is dictating your life. Every hour, every second. There's always people around you that are working harder than you are doing something. And maybe these people aren't the nicest people to you, sadly. Maybe they hate you. So what do you need to do? You need to do you. And you just start, even if it's so small, you know? Like, even if it's just like, like only you, no one else, do it. But do it respectfully, just do it. Be a good person. Do it, chill, chill. 
fucking eat good go to the gym be a cool person five years down the road when you're doing good habits and everyone else is all over the place whatever who's gonna shine you're gonna shine and most importantly though you're gonna shine for yourself dude no we don't need like to shine for other people guys like you literally want to feel good right but it's hard trust i get it i'm addicted to things too you know i'm addicted to bad habits to whatever it is but just keep pushing guys and don't beat yourself up that's all keep pushing don't beat yourself up and realize that anything is possible like you should have seen how good i was doing on that podcast and i know i can see the future in like two months three months it's gonna be even bigger in a year it's gonna be maybe the biggest or something else will be the biggest but it's like you know just not worrying just taking the time working really hard and building something that's real kind of like a seed you put a seed in that tree and then the seed grows i was telling reed this i said reed if you don't have a seed how are you gonna grow and be confident and have the nice things and then and the nice and then the, all the shiny like leaves that everyone looks at like if you don't plant a seed that makes you feel like you're you and like fully you like feeling amazing it's gonna be hard to it need that seed though needs to be your heart and your gut and what you want to do and then you need to move in that Thank you, Christy. Uh, one sec, guys. Give me a sec. Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the washroom. This is one of my biggest advices to be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. And that means whatever you're wishing for impulsively right now, running around, you're getting everything you wish for. You're just getting it. You're going to get it. If you're quitting, you're not going to get it, but you're getting half of it, quarter of it, whatever it is, right? So before anything, you need to know you. You need to know your heart, like you, 100%. You need to know what you actually want. Because it's not as hard as you guys think to be like, uh, like do do all these things, like get big, get famous, whatever. It's not as hard as you think. Then once you have it, you're like, oh my God, this is what I wish for. Shaking my ass on stage in front of millions of people all day. Do I really want that? Yes, The all, do I really want that? No one's really looking at me. No one's really caring. You know what I mean? So you gotta be careful what you wish for because you just might 
get it. And that's why the days, being slow with your days, and just being very smart about them, not saying, oh, I have to do this because this is how a society looks at me, or I have to do this because this person, whatever. No, you gotta really go through the mental battle of figuring out what you really want, you know? All right, I'm gonna get going and I'll see you guys on kick at 12. I'll see you guys on at kick at 12. Superman. Bye guys. Thank you for listening to my chats and stuff. Thank you for chatting with me. All of that. I'll see you guys for some gaming later. Um, I'll go outside, chill for a little bit, watch some YouTube, chill for a bit, smoke a little bit, and then um, we're gonna hop on kick. If Adam doesn't want to hop on yet, we'll hop on ourselves. The word of the day. You guys love the word of the day. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me stink. Um, the word of the day is fun. Fun. Have some fun today. Like play some, do some things for yourself. Have some fun. Even make your work kind of fun, like in a way, somehow. If you have to use your imagination, use your imagination. You know, have some fun. Sweet. All right, ladies, peace. See you guys on kick later. Goodbye.